my name is Chikoro, and today I want to talk to you about something I call the pin curl method. It has nothing to do with a pin curl. The pin curl method stands for an acronym for a process I use to protect my hair from chlorine. P stands for protect, N stands for neutralize, C stands for chelate, R stands for restore, replenish, replace, and L stands for lubricate. Who is this process for? If you go swimming once a year, just use a shampoo and a conditioner and you should be fine. Or use a swimmer's shampoo. If you're someone who is on a swim team, if you are someone who goes to the spa and uses the pool on a regular basis, if you have your own pool and you use that on a regular basis, you may want to use this process because chlorine damage is cumulative. The more you do it, the more you expose your hair to chlorine, then the more damage you have or possibly can have. Does this process completely, completely stop chlorine damage? No. There is nothing that will do that except for to stay away from chlorine. But I do believe this process can minimize the damage that chlorine can do to your hair if you are someone who swims on a regular basis. The other thing is that if you are someone with very porous hair, like you have a relaxer, you have a perm, you have color in your hair, if you have a razor cut, meaning hair that's cut, in, that's cut on the slant, that exposes far more of the interior of a hair strand than a simple blunt cut. Okay, so the first step is to protect. And what I use is any kind of cheap shampoo, excuse me, any type of cheap conditioner that doesn't really have protein in it. And if I can't get a sulfate free conditioner, that's even better. So I use a cheap moisturizing conditioner and a pomade on my hair for the first step. So I'm going to, I've taken my hair out, so I'm going to take this conditioner and I put my conditioner on dry hair. Hair has a saturation point. So I like to use conditioner with no water so that the conditioner, which is thicker than water and will not be a conductor as well as water is for the chlorine, I use this on my hair. And I use a moisturizing and not a protein conditioner because a moisturizing condi conditioner contains more emollients and more components to lubricate the hair, whereas a protein conditioner is a bit more drying. So I want to put a, as much lubrication on my hair as possible. So I'm using this conditioner that is moisturizing as opposed to protein. And I'm going to put my hair in one ponytail. So let me go ahead and do that. Now that I have my one braid, I'm still continuing the protect process and so I'm going to use some of this hair food here and I am going to put this on the top of my hair. Sometimes if you have porous hair, the hair seems to want to break at the root when you have a relaxer, when you have color, so you want to protect it at that Point. And then I like to put a little on the ends of my hair because the ends are the very fragile. They're, of course, the oldest part of the hair and they tend to also be the most porous on your head as well, even if your hair is natural. And what I'm going to do is roll up the ends like this, and this is a preference. And then I have a coated rubber band. You can use what you want. And then I'm going to put that on the end of my hair. And it is a little oily, so it depends on what your preference is. You may want to put a little baggie on here, but I don't. So I'm going to tie this up like this, like so. And that is how I am going to go in my pool. And what I have done is the protect part. After you get out the pool, you want to do the next step, the end, which is neutralize. Vitamin C powder neutralizes chlorine. I use 4.5 to 5 grams or the equivalent of one teaspoon in about a liter of water. So I put this in water. What I would suggest you do is that if you are going to a pool, I suggest you mix this up before you go in your bottle. 
So I'm going to go ahead and mix this now and then I'm going to put this on my hair. So again, well how do you know? Well, the smell of the chlorine will immediately dissipate when it's been neutralized. So if when you get out the pool, your hair smells like chlorine, it probably will. You put this on, you will find that the chlorine smell dissipates. And that is because the vitamin C water in the bottle is neutralizing the chlorine in your hair. And that's what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I hope you can see. And actually, I need to take my hair out. And of course, I'm dropping things and making a mess. So let me go ahead and put this on pause for a second. Okay, so this is my shower over here. So I'm going to just pour this through my hair. And I can't look at the thing anymore. So the sun outside. You want to do this after you've gotten out the pool. And you want to do this when you solely want to get the chlorine and you're about to wash your hair. This dripping I do not like, so let me take care of this. So I'll be right Next, I'm going to chelate the chlorine out of my hair. Well, how do you do that? I use k syrup. I'm going to add it to my shampoo. The k syrup in your hair directly, it's very sticky. So I, I mix those two together in my hand. And I put that on my hair. And usually I put my hair in braids to wash it, but when I am going swimming or have gone swimming, I don't want to take the time. Time for me is of the essence when I'm dealing with chlorine or chlorinated water in my hair. Okay, roll syrup. Okay. And then I'm going to put this throughout my hair. And this is a... The k syrup is something that is a carbon-based type of organic substance here and what it does is it has like fingers and it takes the things like uh, chlorine and even things like magnesium and calcium and even copper. This chelates or it grabs onto and pulls out things like those materials, those minerals from your hair. So this also helps to remove the green in hair that one may get if you are swimming in a pool and there's copper in it and your hair has turned green. The syrup and the shampoo together, what it does is it sweeps away the chlorine, it sweeps away the magnesium, it sweeps away the calcium, it sweeps away that copper. So it chelates out those components from the hair. Okay, now that I have my hair braided and I am able to now, I can wash it. I still have my, my soap in here as well as that k syrup. So I'm going to rinse that out of my hair and then I'm going to do the next step, the R. The R is to restore, replenish, replace the protein. Now you do want to use a protein conditioner on your hair after you washed it. And what I do is I combine the two steps, meaning the lubricate as well. L is for lubricate. So what I would do is take my, my conditioner. We're going to pretend this is a protein conditioner. I'm going to take my protein conditioner, and I'll probably mix it with a little oil. And that will take care of the R and the L, the restore, replenish, replace step, as well as the lubricate step. Okay, now I have the conditioner mixed with oil in my hair. And one thing I've noticed about when I use this process is my hair feels much softer when I use the vitamin C and the K-Roll, etc. than if I don't. Usually after, and thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.